Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brad Hover, so you probably know because you clicked on my channel. Obviously, your boy is the one hosting. I have literally just woken up. I'm very exhausted. Yeah. Fun times. Fun times. We are living in right now. So, as you can tell by the title, this video is my top five favourite rappers of all time. Of all time. Yeah. My favourite rappers. I've been listening to rap for quite a while. I've been listening to rap since I was a kid. Uh, my brother kind of introduced me to a lot of rap. A lot of 2000s rap. And then I found like old, older rappers uh, who you'll see on this list. Uh, yeah. So let's get on with it. Number five. Ice Cube. Yep. Ice Cube at number five. I've literally, say about a year, year and a half ago, got into Cube. But apart from that, I just love the way he writes. I love the way he delivers songs. The way he's always on top of the game. Even the new song, which I've got a reaction coming tomorrow. Uh, that is in. Uh, I really like that song. I really did like that song. Uh, but yeah, I just like Cube as a general human being as well. Even as an actor. Cube was amazing as an actor. And... It was nice to see like, him come back to rap because I think he's one of the original OGs of rap. Like him, Dre, Snoop, like the original OGs at the moment who are still alive, to be fair, who are still alive. So yeah, Cube at number five. Number four. A, there's a, a guy called Sick World. Sick World is a very inspiring rapper for me because he raps about a lot of mental health issues, which I tend to do as well uh, on albums such as Isolation 15, which is my first record. Uh, so yeah, Sick World because he kind of reminds me like an old version of Eminem, like quick, snappy lines, punch lines in songs. He's just talented. I just really like that guy. Obviously, if you've never heard Sick World, but you've got TikTok, you'd have heard of Sick World because his song Seven Years, uh, the remix of Lucas Graham song, that's on there. But Sick is absolutely fantastic. He's such a good rapper. Yeah, if you haven't heard of him, go check him out, Sick World. Just go on Spotify and check him out. He is absolutely fantastic. Number three. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. I'm about to cause some controversy up in here. Machine Gun Kelly. I've been a Kells. I've been a fan of Kells for four years, five years, near enough. Uh, I kind of was turned on to Kells before Rap Devil. So before everyone was like, oh, jump on the bandwagon of Machine Gun Kelly. I kind of became a fan of him before that because I heard his song Wild Boy, uh, played by Steve. -er. And I was like, oh, this is this is weird. Because the opening lyrics are, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Steve. -er. I'm like, poetic. I like it. Uh, but Kells, I have always liked his rock star mentality. Like, he knows for a fact he's a rock star. He knows he lives the rock star lifestyle. And he, he never fails to back that up in his music. Even in, like, Hotel Diablo, like, when he was going... Straight for like the more depressing route, telling stories about his life. Uh, Floor 13, how he survived after the Eminem beef. He's, he's a very unique rapper, MGK. He's a very unique rapper. Like A lot of people say like white boys can't rap. Eminem proved them wrong. And Machine Gun Kelly added to that. And I think he's like a lot of people diss him. But Machine Gun Kelly is slept on. He is so good. Like songs... Like Alpha Omega, Breaking News, Sale, Merry Go Around, Loco, Floor 13, El Diablo, Hollywood Hall. Hell, the guy's even been in punk rock now. The guy has got the best punk rock album of 2020. What's that telling you? Come on. Punk rockers need to step up their game if a rapper's beating you. And Corey Taylor even said about MGK, he failed in one drama, so he had to come to another. Wrong move, Corey. Wrong move. But I've always liked MGK due to his rhyming, how he's able to bend these words, the freestyles he does. 
he's just I just I just love everything about him. Obviously, you've seen me in like YouTube videos repping Machine Gun Kelly merch. Yeah. So Kel's at number three. Number two. Eminem. Yeah. When I talk about inspiring rappers that I listened to when I was a kid, Eminem is straight to the top of the list. M to me was that outlet and he still is today Eminem is still that outlet for me when I'm like I want to listen to rap I'll go straight for NWA or Eminem or Kells uh, or my number one spot which you'll find out in a minute but Eminem to me was when I was getting into more the writing side of music I kind of looked up to Eminem as an idol and I still do today even as a human being I look up to Eminem as an idol um, but yeah, his amazing compound rhyme schemes, everything he does where he bends the words to his will. He's a wordsmith, basically, but a lot of people say he's a wordsmith. He's not a wordsmith, he's a genius. Eminem is a genius. And that's one thing we can't knock him for. People up there will be like Tupac, Biggie, people like that who are in my honourable mentions. You... You look at M and you look at the way he rhymes, you look at the way he speaks, the way he says his words. The guy is forever cemented as the greatest of all time. Sorry, my phone just vibrated then. He is forever cemented as one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time. Number one, Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor and Lincoln Park. I grew up as a rock kid. I grew up in pop punk, heavy metal, new metal. And front and centre of that was Lincoln Park. And everyone was like, Chester, 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 Chester. And hell, I agree. I miss Chester every single day. He was an inspiring human being for everybody who suffers with mental health issues. Uh, it's a shame he's no longer here. But Mike, to me as a kid, Mike stood out as... This guy in a heavy metal band rapping. And songs like Paper Cut. Pfft, hell. In the end. Burn It Down. The raps in that song were amazing. Every single time you knew Mike was going to rap. You knew it was going to be amazing. Like even his newer stuff. With like what I reacted to even on his post traumatic album. The guy is able to captivate audiences no matter where he is. Whether you're a Linkin Park fan, whether you're a Fort Minor fan, whether you've never heard of him, he knows how to bring you in and go, right, you're my fans now. And he feeds off that. And that's the thing with Mike. He feeds off that energy. And he gets better and better and better and better. And to me, Mike is the greatest of all time. I love... A lot of, a lot of people hate on me in the comments for that, but... I think, in my opinion, Mike is one of the greatest of all time. Uh, especially when it comes to heavy metal as well. And new metal. Mike is up there. Straight to the top. And I love what he does as a producer. I'd love to work with him in the future. I would 100% love to work with Mike. Because he's, he, he's a, a genuine nice person as well. Uh, I'd just love to meet him, to be fair. That'd be mint. Um, <laughs> do a video with him, writing a song with Mike Shinoda. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that'd be, like, my main thing. Is to work with Mike. Find out the way he writes. Find out what he does to make these amazing songs, such as in the end. Like, he's just too good. He's just too good. If you haven't listened to Mike rap, Go listen to Fort Minor. You'd have heard of Fort Minor because of Remember the Name. It's like 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will. The guy, the guy's out of this world. Yeah. And then my honourable mentions, obviously. Dr. Dre, Tupac, Big E, Nas. Pioneers. Pioneers of rap. Forever will be. But yeah. That's all I've really got for this video. I know this video, if you saw me on Instagram, this video has come a day early. I couldn't be bothered releasing it. Uh, on Sunday, I've got a reaction coming out tomorrow, as I've said. 
So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And tell me who your top five favourite rappers are of all time. Let me know down in the comments who your favourite rappers are of all time. Your top five. And honourable mentions. Let's do this. Alright. Peace. Good night.